Welcome to a new video everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to save a bunch of money by changing your own cabin air filter. Let's go take a look. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is figure out what air filter is going to fit in your car. I actually went to a few places and did some research online and wasn't really able to come up with much since it's a newer car. So I took it down to AutoZone and actually had them plug all the information into their computer and they were able to print me out a part number and I actually did a little looking online and it turns out that AutoZone actually sold it the cheapest. So I went ahead and ordered it from them, picked it up the next day, and now I'm going to show you how to install it. So the first part of our installation will actually be removing the old air filter which is located behind the glove box in this car. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. I've already emptied it. And this little arm right here, we're going to go ahead and disconnect that from that little pin and push it into the up position. And then if you look here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit there, and then we'll zoom back out. Right there are two little dials that we can turn and pop out. To loosen these, all you have to do is turn and kind of give it a pull. As you can see right there, it has these little hooks on the ends that stick in there. Go ahead and set that down here below, and then take this one out, and give it a little tug. Ooh, there we go. Alright, so our glove box has dropped down and opened up and revealed the compartment behind it, where we're going to put our air filter. To get inside this compartment, all we have to do are pinch these two little prongs right here and it kind of hinges open. And what you're going to want to do here is make note of the airflow arrow. It's pointing down, so you want to make sure that the new air filter is in that same position. Let's go ahead and remove this. You're just going to kind of stick your finger in there and slide it out. Here's our old air filter. It may not look too bad on the surface, but when you actually open it up, you can see that there's a lot of stuff trapped inside and it's actually really discolored. Here is our new one that we're about to put into the car so you can kind of see a difference in what they look like. You should change this out about every 10,000 miles on your car to provide yourself with good, clean, safe air inside your cabin. Alright, so I just noticed on this one, the writing is actually on the side. We're going to put it in to where this is showing, but we've made sure that our airflow arrow is pointing in the same direction. So we'll go ahead and slide this into place, get it in that slot there, and push it in. Next, we have to make sure that we recover the air filter, so we're going to go ahead and slide this in and snap it back into place. Next, we've got to make sure that we secure the glove box back to its original position. So we'll go ahead and move this up here, grab one of our dials, and then once you begin to turn it, the little hooks should actually lock in. And once you've got one in, you can actually let that go and it'll hold it. And I seem to have lost my other one. No worries, I was just sitting on it. So we'll go ahead and put it into its proper place here, give it some turns until we hear it click into place, just like that. And now for the very last thing, we've got to make sure that we re-secure our arm to this little pin right here. And that is it. I hope I helped save you guys some money. Thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video.